Using internet-connected devices is already a natural part of our everyday life. They are able to communicate with each other, work independently, and can be controlled remotely. To make things work smoothly, it's necessary to integrate hardware and software in these devices. That was exactly the point at the pizza workshop organized by the company SOS Electronic. Specialists were helping to program and create so-called Internet of Things solutions. SOS Electronic is an international specialized distributor of electronic components, especially for industry. It invests a lot of time into supporting our customers, especially developers and software engineers. One way how to support them is to organize our pizza workshops, our hands-on lab workshops, where these developers can try out practical application of components into their devices. Even though these workshops are already successful, this year we have upgraded them a bit and got together with technology leaders such as Orange, Slovak Telecom and Czech Vodafone, or also software companies like Microsoft and Google, and created complex workshops where they can try out not only hardware, but also software support and communication networks, since these devices have to work in a complex way in this environment. These workshops help in implementing applications in areas such as public transportation, tracking attendance, vehicle monitoring, but also warning systems. At today's workshop we are using devices from the Aeon company, specifically single board and industrial computers. Storage media were taken care of by the company Apacer. We're using Apacer hard disks based on the SSD technology and DRM modules. Monitoring is done by sensors from the Sensirian company. We monitor the quality of air, humidity and the carbon dioxide concentration. Both devices run on the operation system Windows 10 IoT. We process the incoming data and send them to Microsoft Azure Cloud for analysis and further evaluation. Then, according to recorded air quality parameters, we can perform actions like turning on ventilation or air conditioning. The whole purpose of this workshop is to show the integration between hardware and software, to teach people that there is no need to be afraid of the Windows IoT 10 operation system, which is designed specifically for embedded devices. The Microsoft software engineer presented how to use cloud services when processing data gathered from devices that the workshop attendants were working with. They were collecting data like temperature or CO2 concentration, which can undergo more advanced processing with the use of artificial intelligence. This, for instance, helps to predict the incident occurrence in a factory. What are other possible use cases in real life? Today at this workshop we've had a broad portfolio of customers from various areas. Some of them deal with tailor-made development based on their customer requests, and then there are others who already have their developed products and mostly it deals with operation and regulation. Either industrial solutions, infotainment, wellness or welfare. For instance, we're talking about Whirlpool nozzle operation, water or sauna temperature regulation. It's a pleasure to see how we help developers save time with their work, because time and agility are the deal-breakers in today's business.